Hey everyone, welcome, welcome back here to my channel where I play Plants 2. My name is Nissa and I built this today. And it's a little quiggy, but I'm proud of it anyway. And uh, if you want to see how I built this and furthermore, how I built this, then keep watching. Okay guys, clearly this is a shorter video, so therefore I won't have the same time to nitpick everything in small detail about the animals but i have one question that i need to get answered and some of you will already know this and some of you may never uh know known the difference like me uh, but i kind of want to know what the difference between a tortoise and a turtle is since i'm danish we only have the word skilpel i know it's a real bad word but it's basically means sh shell mushroom kind of i i think i would understand uh translate it to so uh, yeah i i needed to know what is the difference so i just googled what is the difference and i found a article on Britannica uh, by kathleen kuiper I think I will link it in the description below, of course, along with all of my Animalia links, so you can go and check. I don't lie to you or anything like that. But basically, tortoise is a subspecies of turtle. So therefore, not all turtles are tortoises, but all tortoises are turtles. So if you see something where you're not sure if it's one or the other, it's always safe to say turtle. Even though you might need mean a, sorry, even though you might meet a wise guy that's tell you um, uh, that's a tortoise, then you can say yeah, tortoises are turtles. But if you want to drive it in a little further, then tortoises are all land-based turtles. Uh, there are still a few turtles that aren't tortoises that walk on land, but all. Uh, sea turtles uh, are water-based uh, turtles are uh, are not tortoises. Yeah, sorry, I I know I'm confusing right now, but it's yeah. I really want to get the point out there, but I also know I can't confuse people when I don't mean to. A few turtles that are not tortoises and still land-bound would be like the box turtles and the wood turtles uh, which have been called tortoises a few places but according to these articles they are still not considered tortoises um, a way to distinguish tortoise from turtles is that the uh, turtles are built very uh, aerodynamic basically to First of all, move through water, but also move uh, quite gently. They have these kind of flat, flatter paws, often whipped feet, uh, and a very flat shelf. Where a lot of tortoises will have like a thicker shell, not not a thicker like it, the shell is thicker, but like they are more rounded, like like more burger formed. Like, if, if you think of it, then turtles are the burgers you don't want to eat, and tortoises are the stuffed burgers with everything good, and you want to eat them. Yeah, a little macabre way to think of it, but more that way. The feet of the tortoises will also be more rounded, like these big plaths. Um, basically poles. They remind you a little bit of a um, elephant foot, where they are completely round and then they just stamp down in the ground uh, when they move where the turtles are more like pushing themselves forward. I hope that made sense. Another way to tell them apart is uh, probably a little more difficult way to tell them apart is basically to feed them because even though all turtles eat vegetables like or greens, uh, but they are not all herbivores. Herbivores are uh, not tortoises. All tortoises will be omnivores, and most not tortoise turtles are herbivores. So therefore, try to feed them like not not like a big stick, but 
smaller kinds of meat like worms and beetles and such and see if they will eat it. Something I know is out there, it's not from this article, but I know this is out there that tortoises are bigger than turtles. This, however, aren't th true, basically because a lot of the ocean-based turtles are very, very big. And you can also have a lot of smaller tortoises, s such you see in the pet stores, for instance. Um, so therefore, you can find both. Uh, I know we had ro Russian land tortoises uh, when I was a child. They and I only know that now because they also ate a uh, like a uh, smaller animal like vertebrates. Uh, I didn't pronounce that right, but you know what I mean. So therefore, I know now it's a tortoise. I always called it a turtle again because we only have the one word in Danish. Um, but uh, yeah, food is a big uh, tell of uh, which animal you are dealing with. However, this doesn't mean that you need to be afraid of a tortoise at all. Again, the meat they eat, they aren't really killers. They won't attack anything to eat it. And most of it is very, very small foods. And again, even though we have some very big tortoises out there, you still shouldn't be afraid of it. Uh, basically because even though a lot of them can become very very big it's something they do over time and it will take them a hell of a long time to grow that big and sadly not many of them live that long either so again don't be afraid but keep in mind that tortoises have beaks uh, and they can bite like shit I, I know this from I had my tortoise here at home uh, it hurts like shit when they be sorry when they bite um but again they wouldn't be aggressively attacking you they would more like just tasting to investigate if you taste good that's something a lot of animal does uh, do that's also kind of like why some dog may like you just so just so they know if you're food or, or not and I know, for instance, many times my cats have accidentally bitten me because they thought that I had a, a, a what's it called, a biscuit for them or something like that, uh, and I didn't, so it was my finger instead that got bitten. But they aren't evil. Well, they are cats, so they are clearly evil <laughs> animals, but they aren't trying to eat me. They are just accidentally nipping at the wrong thing and that's something a lot of animal can do anyway uh, i clearly don't have enough time to tell you deeply about any of these animals today but i figure why don't we look at still animalia.bio which i normally use for these kinds of videos and then go down skip the boring stuff skip all of that and then jump down to the fun fact section which they don't have for all animals but most animals and I will warn you, even though they all, they call it fun facts, it's more like short facts. Some of them are very fun and some of them are more just fascinating. Um, just so you don't think you're gonna laugh yourself off the chair now. But we're gonna start with the Albertra. <laughs> Sorry, Albertra. Albertra. Giant tortoise. Uh, and they live longer than most animals uh, and this is clarified with what individuals actually lived longer uh, than 255 years that is a old tortoise again he or she probably lived longer than other tortoises and therefore grow larger than others um but quite, quite old, even for a tortoise, if you ask me. Okay, next fact about the Alberta giant tortoise. These tortoises have limited social communication. The only social behavior outside of breeding behavior has that has been observed is nosing. When one tortoise will come up to another one, lie down 
and for several minutes rub the other one's head or neck with its nose. There is no explanation currently for this behavior. And um, it's a behavior I'm really glad that humans haven't adapted yet because that would be weird. Just some rando coming up with you and then just nosing you on your neck and your face. That's no, no. No, thank you, please. The next one I feel like most people know, but I'm not sure, so we're gonna take it anyway. A tortoise cannot come out of its shell, which forms part of its skeleton. Uh, both tortoises and turtles have this exoskeleton, so that's why. Uh, I'm honestly really, really glad I haven't, but um, again, keep this in mind if you ever come to a petting zoo with tortoises or turtles please don't knock on their shell they don't appreciate it and we wouldn't like anyone knocking on our bones either the next one here actually disagree with something i mentioned earlier is that the albora giant turtles tortoise sorry is an excellent swimmer this possibility is possible possibly meaning uh, sorry, being the reason there are ones of uh, there used to be a lot of them on the Indian Ocean islands. Um, keep in mind that tortoises do bathe; uh, they just don't live in water, and they aren't built specifically for water. The final fact here about the Alparaja giant tortoise is something that makes me want to research this further, but not today. These tortoises were called the ninjas of the world of tortoise by Jose Antonio de Alcete, uh, Y. Ramirez, a Mexican biologist due to the dangerous acrobatic act they performed to get to low hanging branches. Uh, I want to see this. I clearly want to see this, but let's jump over to the Galapagos giant tortoise. First of all, I apologize for my pronunciation here, but Las Islands de los uh, Galapagos, meaning the island of the tortoise, named uh, after the giant tortoise, where, uh, sorry, named after the uh, giant tortoise that were found nowhere else on Earth earth this is quite prestigious if you ask me for tortoise and then it says here tortoises overall all tortoises have a poor sense of smell and therefore use their eyes to seek food therefore especially red uh, objects are uh, bringing more attention to them so if you place a red food uh, and a green food in front of them most likely they will go for the red one and then for a talent I didn't know the Galapagos tortoise had, but a Galapagos tortoise has a very slow metabolism. Uh, so it can go for a long time without water or food. This makes sense since where it lives. But the longest such time recorded uh, and confirmed was about 18 months. These animals will drink a lot of water when available and store it for later. 18 months! That's a lot. Anyway guys, enjoy the cinematics and I will come back afterwards.
Okay, guys, that's all I got for you today. And uh, you know the drill, guys. Like, subscribe, and turn on the bell notification so you know the next time I upload a video. I really hope to see you again. I'll end the comments below or in the next video. Bye, guys.